Hi, St. Mary Religious Education families. I hope that this finds you well. My name is Chris Oust, and I'm very happy to be the new Director of Religious Education for grades kindergarten through sixth. On behalf of Mr. Mazur and all of the office staff and our catechists here at St. Mary's, we are so excited to kick off the 2020-2021 catechetical year. As we move into this year, we want to make sure that we are a tool, a resource to our families, so that as one cohesive family union, all of you can grow in your faith, your relationship with Christ, and with his bride, the church. As we prepare for this year, we have had to face many challenges due to the public health mandates in response to COVID-19. So why don't we start things off this year, and I'll take you through our grounds and property in St. Mary Catholic School and show you what will be in store for religious ed this year. Let's go. In order to mitigate the volume of traffic in the corridors inside the school this year, we have slightly altered our drop-off procedures. This year, students whose classrooms are on the first floor in the school, that being grades kindergarten through third grade, will enter through door number four behind me. And as we walk this way, students whose classrooms are located on the second floor of the school this year will enter through door number three B. As we make our way this way, you'll notice that there is a door to the right of door number three. It is a stairwell door, and it will be labeled as door number 3B. Students who are in grades four through eight will enter through this door. Furthermore, students will notice that on our sidewalks throughout the property are these green crosses. When students are outside at arrival or dismissal or any other time, they should each stay on a cross. These crosses are meant to help us maintain social distancing even when we are moving outside of the building. This year, we will be monitoring temperatures in the following way. Parents will be sent a link to an electronic Google form the evening prior to their student's class each week. It is expected that the parents will take their child's temperature and do a self-symptom screening questionnaire and complete the form and submit it prior to their drop-off to religious education class. Parents, it is important to note that we need a form submitted for every child in your family that is enrolled in religious education. At every entrance of the school, there are hand sanitizing stations. Once students enter the building, they will be expected to sanitize their hands. Furthermore, similar to the green crosses we saw outside, you will notice these markings on the floor throughout the school building. Students will be expected to stay on one of these marks as they move about the building. Again, this is to be sure that we maintain proper social distancing. As you can see, I am wearing my mask. All students and adults who are part of our religious education program and in any of the buildings on the St. Mary property will be required to wear a mask at all times. Parents, please note that it is important that masks are school appropriate and that they match the values of our Catholic Christian life. If we find that a student's mask is distracting, inappropriate for school or does not match the values of our Catholic Christian way of life, that student's mask will be kept in a Ziploc bag in the religious education office and the student will be provided a new mask to wear that day for class. You are currently looking at a third grade classroom in St. Mary's School. As you can see, the desks are six feet apart from edge to edge. I can assure you that the teachers and principal of St. Mary Catholic School worked hard and literally used a measuring tape to be sure that the desks are properly social distanced for our students. This particular classroom is located in the D wing on the first floor, which is where all of our religious education classes will meet for kindergarten through third grade. Students whose classrooms are located on the second floor will enter door 3B as described earlier. When they come up the stairwell, they will enter the A wing of St. Mary Catholic School through this door. As they, as they proceed to their classroom, they will notice that on this floor, hand sanitizing stations are located outside of the classroom. Students will be expected to sanitize their hands before entering the classroom. This is an example of one of our junior high classrooms. As was noted downstairs, these desks as well are socially distanced six feet apart from edge to edge. We have worked closely with the head of maintenance and facilities here at St. Mary to ensure that all of the classrooms and bathrooms that will be utilized by St. Mary religious education students are sanitized properly. 
At the end of the school day, when St. Mary Catholic school students are dismissed, and prior to the arrival of our St. Mary religious education students, all of the classrooms and bathrooms that are used for religious education will be sanitized and remain closed until the start of our classes. In order to mitigate the volume of traffic in the hallways, we have slightly altered our dismissal procedures as well as arrival. For students who are in grades kindergarten through sixth grade on Tuesday and Wednesday, and for all of the grades on Thursday, students whose last names start with A, B, C, D, or E will be dismissed out of door number nine at 5.45 p.m. Students whose last names start with F, G, H, I, J will also be dismissed out of door number nine at 5.50 p.m. For students who are in grades kindergarten through sixth grade on Tuesday and Wednesday, and for all of the grades on Thursday, students whose last names start with K, L, M, N, O will be dismissed out of door, out of door number four at 5.45 p.m. Students whose last names start with P, Q, R, S, T will also be dismissed from door number four at 5.50 p.m and students whose last names start with U, V, W, X, Y, or Z will be dismissed from door number 42 at 5.55 p.m. For all of the classes on Sunday, those students will be dismissed out of door number four at five minute increments starting at 10.45. In order to view these procedures, please go to the religious education page of the St. Mary Parish website which can be found at stmarymokina.org, and you will also be receiving a hard copy of these procedures in the mail within the next couple of weeks. Should the bishop choose to close the Catholic schools and religious education programs in the diocese, we at St. Mary's do have an e-learning plan in place for religious education classes. Therefore, religious education classes will not be canceled. They will simply move to a virtual format. If this becomes the case, you will receive information about the e-learning plan when necessary. We want to thank you for trusting us with the health and safety of your students. We are committed to keeping them healthy and safe so that they can continue to grow in their relationship with Christ and his church. As of right now, we are still in need of catechist, catechist assistants, substitute catechists, and office volunteers. If, if you would like, please go to our website to complete the online volunteer form or contact the Religious Education Office. That information can be found at the end of this video. And before we conclude, I invite you to take some time now to listen to some testimonials from our returning catechists who are excited to welcome your students back this year. Thank you. Hi, my name is Linda McCauley and I'm going to be teaching Religious Ed at St. Mary's this year. I taught last year. Um, just joined the parish, moved from a nearby parish. Um, I've taught religious ed for 20 years, uh, took off four years during that time. Um, but I really enjoy, you know, teaching religious ed and being with the students and seeing them grow in their faith and um, just introducing things that, you know, we should probably all know. And it's amazing how much, um, as Catholics, we don't know about our faith. and. Um, and what is available to us about how God is present in our life and we don't have to be alone or lonely. And I always feel bad for the kids, you know, who just don't know the saving power of Jesus and that they don't have to, you know, be alone, that God is with them always and he loves them. I think that's an important message that our youth sometimes don't hear how much God loves them. And I love them just because God allows us because he loves us to love others. And so I just like sharing that um, in the classroom. My name is Alicia Onick, and this is my fourth year being a third grade catechist in the RE program at St. Mary. I first started to volunteer for RE when my oldest daughter entered the program in kindergarten. I wanted to be an aide first because I wasn't quite sure if I could um, be a catechist. So I was an aide in a sixth grade classroom and I really enjoyed my time working with the catechists and the students in that class. 
So the following year, when my middle child started RE, I felt I was ready to be a catechist. And I've been teaching um, third grade ever since. I really enjoy my time teaching as a catechist because it's so rewarding and it's so nice to have um, a small group of children that you meet with once a week. And it's really great to see them grow in their faith and to know that you're part of that growth in them. If you feel nervous or unprepared or not qualified to become a catechist, just know that there are other catechists and the RE director and other volunteers that will help you every step of the way in the program to uh, make you feel more qualified and that God is with you every step of the way.